Our next speaker I probably met 20 years ago at Craig Proctor Super Conference up in Toronto. I got out of Sacramento and flew thousands of miles to learn and to grow. I took notes. And one of the pe persons I met was Curtis Johnson. And Curtis became a dear friend of mine. I watched him go from not knowing much to selling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes every year. Right here in, well, down across in Arizona. <laughs> Felt like we were in Arizona. Right here in Arizona. <laughs> Been traveling too much. But uh, so uh, Curtis is amazing, and um, basically he and I have been brothers. And when I got into EXP, I called Curtis. James and I were playing golf at uh, Paso Robles or somewhere in Santa Cruz, this amazing golf course. And we got on the phone with him leaving Santa Cruz, and it was a four-hour drive back to Sacramento. And he goes, I want to know about EXP. We talked for four hours. Four solid hours. What about this? What about this? What about this? And um, I think about four or five months later, he made the switch. Today, he has thousands and thousands and thousands of people. In fact, I believe, let's bring the screen up. He has over 9,000. Bring the, bring the slide. There it is. There it is. Over 9,000 agents, 49 FLQA, and he's a supermodel. Help me welcome to the stage, Mr. Curtis Johnson, everyone. Woo! Come on, baby. Get up here. You look good. That looks good. Did you Photoshop that? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now, book after book, box after box. As Jeff Bezos was starting out Amazon, he would take all these books and he would get down on his hands and knees and he would take them and he'd take book after book into the boxes. And he was exhausted, like we are as real estate agents, and he was beat up. And he said, man, he looked at the guy next to him, he said, you know what we really need? We need knee pads. <laughs> and the guy looked at him like he was crazy and said, no, Jeff, what we need is a desk. So we need packing tables and we need that. So you can be a genius, but still without the right system and the right models, you're not gonna be able to go as far. So I love models. As a young boy, I had a, real, or had a, a paper out at 11 years old and I used to save my money up and I'd walk down to Mervyn's and I bought a model airplane. Anyone ever been into model airplanes? I love the idea to be able to take something, these little pieces of plastic that were really inconsequential with a little bit of glue and the directions in this model and be able to kind of put this together within a, a short period of time, even with no skill, to be able to have something that was amazing. Now, I, I love that and I love that uh, I love the power of models, and I'm going to give you three cheat codes, if you will, that I've observed and modeled to go from ground zero to 9,000 plus real estate agents in my organization, a really true freedom with that. Now, the first model I used in my sales business was from the MREA, Leads, Listings, and Leverage, right? A lot of people have used that. Now, I believe that that helped me kind of scale my little real estate team to be able to go faster on the treadmill, but really gave me flexibility, but not real freedom. I believe something called the kind of the freedom model, and that's love, leadership, and legacy. Now, love, leadership, and legacy. Now, the most expensive thing you can own is a closed mind, and Brent talked about that. And about six and a half years ago, uh, seven years ago, Brent called me up and said, Curtis, have you heard of this company called EXP? And I said, no, never heard of it. And he goes, I think I'm, I'm thinking about leaving Keller Williams for it, um, and will you listen? I said, Brent, I will listen, I love you, but it doesn't matter. You could be handing me a wheelbarrow full of gold bricks and I'm just gonna have to say no. Uh, but I, I listened and we stayed in touch uh, over the next year and I watched what he built and I saw this and by the time I was really ready to come to EXP, I thought, okay, this is great. It's a great real estate company, but I'm never gonna be able to do much in the revenue share space because I thought I had missed that. Now, the red circle right there is where Brent first talked to me and that was about 1,200 agents. And by the time I joined about a little over a year later, we were up to 6,000 agents. And again, I thought I had missed it. I knew I wasn't Brent. I knew I wasn't a great recruiter. I wasn't even a very good recruiter, um, but that I could follow a model and I could share and I could build. So January 2018, made a big announcement, said, hey, we're coming over. I had a team of 20 people. We came over with 18. And I started where everybody else does at zero. So revenue share was zero. And I was like, okay, that's okay. This is, we're gonna get going. And my goal was that first year to get up to $5,000 a month. My second year, get up to $10,000 a month. And sometime between my third and my fifth year, 
to get up to $15,000 a month. Now realize my time at Keller Williams, I was, over the whole time there, I, aver- I got less than $500 total profit share, which was less than $20 a month. So to go from that to 5,000 was just an astronomical jump, right? But that's where I was at, that's where I was going for. So this is where I'm at today, 69 frontline agents in 66 months. You know what that means? That means if I was a recruiter at any other company, I'd be fired because that's about one agent a month, right? That's not terribly great, but with this model, it still works really good. So we go back from 1998 when I got into real estate to 2018, I had 20 agents and that's from all the different sources of that, includes agents I recruited and referred to my team. Now from 2018 to 2023, that's come out to almost 9,200 agents with this model. So I am proof that this is the biggest opportunity of our lifetime. This is what this comes out to right now. (laughs) I think Glenn calls this obnoxious money, which I'd have to agree with, I I think there. But I think the difference between those people that I've seen just build astronomical groups and those that maybe have struggled is illustrated by a story by Joy Jones. And she talks about a young couple that was at the end of the day sitting at the dinner table, just kind of talking about their day. And from down the hall, they hear this boom. And the mother goes, oh, and she runs down the hall and she runs to her young son and she says, honey, what happened? And he says, oh, I I fell out of bed. She says, well, how'd you fall out of bed? And he says, I guess I just wasn't in far enough. I guess I wasn't in far enough. And that's what I see in a lot of people that don't build massive organizations. It's, are you in far enough? You have to kind of do some introspection. Are you doing everything to minimize the EXP brand? I say, hey, what's the smallest I can put this on my sign? Or are you really in love with the company? Like, t- you know, talking about it like you would a hole in one. So the first one is love. Now, I love EXP. I really do. When you walk in my office, one of the first things you see is this massive, I love EXP inside there. Now, too many agents just sample recruiting or agent attraction. It's got to be something that you love, something that you are, something you become not just this activity that you do. So I wrote down 10 things I love about eXp. Now yours are gonna be a little bit different than mine because guess what, we're different and that's okay. So number one, what do I love about eXp? I love that eXp isn't just a little bit better than everybody else. It's not, it is so much better, so much bigger. This is the biggest opportunity of my lifetime and your lifetime as well. Now talent always seeks opportunity and the bigger the talent, the bigger the opportunity we have to chase. Would you guys agree with that? Yes. Now, Ryan Stuman, he says, opportunity doesn't just go away, it just goes to someone else. Now, I've worked hard my whole career, and I had a little bit to show for, I had a couple nickels. Now, Coach Burt says the worst thing is to be a level 10 player in a level five opportunity. A level 10 player in a level five opportunity. Now, EXP is a level 10 plus opportunity. Number two. Revenue share, let's talk about it. Now, EXP agents get a lifetime override to sponsor agents and teach them how to be productive and help them spread their wings. But guess what? They don't have to leave your team. They don't have to leave your brokerage, if you will, right? So they're able to stay with you and stay in business without that business divorce. Now, uh, US EXP Realty agents earned over $185 million in revenue share in 2022. That's just astronomical. And revenue share is the way to get off the transaction treadmill and create time, location, and financial freedom. And about 85% of uh, agents inside of ESP love it as a brokerage, right? They love selling that. Now there's about 15% that are builders like us. That's what we're here for, right? We're builders, we wanna change the world. Daniel Beer says, even for the 85% who don't build or recruit, revenue share is the most important thing. It's the reason we share our playbook. Now to be wealthy, we need to model the wealthy. Now they do great work, but they're paid over and over and over for their effort. So you've got to create this system or plug into a system that never stops paying you. Now revenue share needs compounding time. That's why if you look at those that have the biggest organizations inside of eXp, we've been here for a few years, right? So give yourself a little bit of grace and we'll talk about that. So you've got to ask yourself, when are you going to start your compounding clock in your favor? Number three, I love that we're treated as owners and not just um, as agents. 
Now, 70% of eXp Realty is owned by founders, agents, and staff. Now, some of you guys might have rented a car here. Think about how you treat a rental car versus a luxury car. That's the difference between eXp and other brokerages, right? We're treated、um, a little bit different, a little bit better as owners. Now, Glenn, he says anyone can create a model. However, if you've never walked a walk, there is no way to credibly talk the talk. Now, I've been with the company about five and a half years. I just barely, this last month, hit my sixth, not five, but my sixth icon award. And what that means is I get up to $16,000 of stock back for my contributions and sales to be able to do that. You also get awards from doing what? From sponsoring agents on your first sales, things like that. Now, eXp Realty. We, we reward production, not just in a fixed cap, but also the more you sell, the more discounted stock you can buy. Now, we're the most productive real estate company in America, right? So, productive agents are attractive agents. Now, read that last one. Tomorrow's session is all about production. Productive agents are attractive. You don't have to choose one or the other. Number four, I love that this still feels like a startup. Doesn't that feel great to be a part of a startup? Now, we're the only brokerage model that's still improving our model. We're not putting more barriers to being able to grow and be able to attain more、um, freedom in your life. They're actually lowering this to be able to say, hey, how do we get, get this to more agents and give more freedom to agents? So, eXp Realty has adjusted its revenue share model for quicker, bigger payouts to agents. Again, Glenn said, I get asked, when are you going to raise fees and raise caps? And the answer is never. That's not how you build a legacy company. Yes, absolutely. Let's give him a round of applause. I love that we're continuing to iterate to be able to come up with the luxury program and commercial and from success. We are still a startup and we're having a blast doing it. Number five, I love that we're not just a neighborhood. You, know, you don't have to just be a neighborhood expert. You don't just have to sell in your area, your local community, or even your state. You can sell across. State lines and also across into 23, I don't know if it's a 24 state, 23, 24 states now, our country, sorry.、Um, we are truly a borderless brokerage and I love that. The opportunity is endless with that. Number six, technology. EXP was born from a technology background. Now, even about a, it's, it's almost like Glenn was looking around corners a decade before everybody else was the work from home. And what does that really mean for us as agents? It means that. We're able to attract talent from all over the world to be able to work. It doesn't, you don't have to just be able to hire people in your, in your local community, right? So we're able to do that. We're able to offer 50, 60 hours of training each week without having the, expense, the travel expenses to be able to do that, as well as offer some of the most cutting edge CRMs and more things to come. So I love that we're technology centric. <clears throat> Number seven, risk reduction. Now, not a lot of people talk about risk reduction. What is eXp? It's the opportunity to own your own brokerage without the overhead. Like a mutual fund, I've got agents in my organization from all over the world. So when one market is cold, another's hot. And even Steve Jobs, he took Pixar and moved Pixar over to Disney during a tumultuous time so that he could better scale. And also have that security. It's like moving from a canoe over to a cruise ship, right? That's why we're so attractive, even with the new、uh, ideas and plans that are coming out. That's why so many brokerages and、uh, mega teams are coming over in these times. Now, I know Rob Flick, I can't see him out here, but I, I saw him earlier today,、uh, and he's talked about some of his health、uh, issues and so forth. But he said something that really struck me. He said to build it before you need it, build it before you need it. And、uh, that, that's my back. I've had four major back surgeries. You can never plan for it. You never know when something's going to come up. Rosie had talked about her story. We all have life that happens.、Um, you, you, you don't really ever get used to that. You don't, get, you, you don't wake up going, hey, this is going to be a, a problem today. No, you don't.、Um, this is, not a lot of people know this. This is my youngest son. Over the last two years, he's been on bed rest for about 23 and a half hours a day. Um, over, he's pretty much missed all of junior high going through, and it's been,、uh, it's been pretty tough. But I can tell you the freedom and the, the joy that I've felt to be able to go with him to appointments and things like that, and to meet with doctors and having them go through and tell you all the different stuff and say, hey, you know what? And I said, just do what we need to do. And he said, I don't think you understand how much this is going to cost, and this is not covered by, by your insurance. And I said, it's okay. 
It's okay, we're, we're fine, just go ahead and do it. To be able to look and hold your wife's hand as you're doing that, um, that's incredible. That's incredible freedom to be able to do. And just to let you know, the last three, he's been amazing, he's doing much, much better. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. <laughs> Number eight, we just talked about, Margo was out here talking about healthcare. So uh, I never even applied for, for years. I thought with my back, and I thought all these other different things. I'm never even going to apply. So a few months ago, I said, you know what? Let's just apply just to see what happens, right? Everything seems like we're doing much better. Our, our health's better. Let's just apply and see what happens. And as of about two months ago, now I'm in EXP Healthcare. So that's pretty cool, right? So uh, just go apply. I think you'll like it. I think there's people saving $800 a month. That's a lot of money, especially right now, um, that we can bring those people in and take some relief for them. Number nine, real estate can be lonely, but I've never been more connected or had more family than here at a virtual brokerage. So look around right here, look around. This is your family. Isn't this a pretty cool crowd? This is pretty awesome, right? Uh, for a virtual brokerage. Um, the legend backstage, making real estate fun again, right? Uh, Gene Frederick coined this term, but this is absolutely right. It's one of our core values that we have. And you know what? Real estate is fun, even during some hard times with that. So love, now let's talk about leadership. Now I believe real estate is an absolutely incredible career, but I also believe that eXp Realty is the only business model in real estate where your number one goal is to help agents outgrow and out earn you. And I believe the ultimate real estate achievement is not personal production awards, but the level of success you help those in your circle achieve. Now some people don't like the word recruit, some people don't like the word revenue share. I would say just replace it with leadership because revenue share is leadership. Now, production requires sales skills. Revenue share requires leadership skills. So if you want more revenue share, increase your leadership. The great Zig Ziglar says, you can have everything in life you want if you'll just help other people get what they want. And I would say the same thing is true with revenue shares. You can receive any amount of revenue share you dream or want if you help enough other people reach their dream revenue share target. And the size of your EXP organization is a direct reflection of your leadership. Now that might be offensive to some people and that might be a great reflection of others, but that's what it is. That's a great chance for us to be able to raise our leadership. Leaders build the team that builds the team. Last piece, legacy. So we hit love, leadership, and legacy. Now 1962, John F. Kennedy went to the, the NASA uh, Space Center, and during his visit, he came and he saw a uh, janitor carrying a broom, and he walked up and he said, hi, I'm Jack Kennedy, what do you do here? And he said, well, Mr. President, I'm helping put a man on the moon. You gotta ask yourself, what type of company do you wanna work out? One that we own together that raises the quality of our life, or one that just raises their fees? So you aren't truly successful until you help others succeed, and the money is in the leadership and duplication, not just recruiting. I'd been with the company about two weeks, and I was at an event that uh, Jay, Mike, and Albie put on. It says, they put this up on the screen, it blew my mind. It doesn't matter what works, it matters what duplicates. So how do we duplicate? Um, if you wanna hunt for whales, you gotta go deep into the ocean. You wanna hunt lions and tigers, you gotta go to Africa. Not just wait for them to come to your door, so we need to stop going to Home Depot looking for a gallon of milk. Now, agent recruiting and duplication is like teaching a dog to fetch. Now, a lot of people go, hey, Curtis, I've got agents in my group, but I just can't get them to recruit. What do I do? Uh, do I just change the ball for maybe a dog bone? Something like that, what do I do? And I say, no, they just don't want to do it. And they say, well, what do I do? I said, well, think about it. If you're going to teach a dog to fetch, what I would do is I would go down to the lake and I would look for a black lab that's coming out of the water, that's got a ball in its mouth and say, I wanna play, I wanna play, I wanna do it, right? That's who we're looking for. So you've gotta go look and spend time with black labs. Nobody has to tell them to go play fetch, right? Black labs, they wake up in the morning looking to play fetch. Look around, these are all black labs here. Um, you look, Dan Beer and Kyle Whistle and Kevin Coffin and Fred Weaver, all these different people in my organization and so many more here, they're black labs. I don't have to tell them, hey, it's time to do something important and build. So the choice, what well, you've got, you've, you've got to look for those black labs. We need to focus not just on how many homes we sell, but also on how many icons and black labs we have in our organization. Jay said, 
Jay Kinder, uh, one of the last events, he said, your goal is to duplicate yourself. Your goal should be for people under you to out-earn you. And these are my partners from my sponsor, Chuck Fazio, to Mike Reese, Jay Kinder, Albie, Cliff, Brent, and Sheila, and all of them have worked tirelessly to help me reach them or even pass them. And look around, even if you're like, well, my sponsor, I don't like my sponsor, whatever that might be, adopt another one. They will help you. Now, my target is to get to 25,000 agents in my organization by the end of 2025. And I know the only way to be able to do that is to get 25 generals that have 1,000 or more inside their organizations. And that's 250 builders that have 100 or more. That's what my target is. So you've got to ask yourself, do you have a target? And you go into any sales, real estate sales office, and we've got sales goals. And I thought, this is the biggest opportunity ever. So why don't I have something like that for my organization? And so inside my, my office, if you come visit, I, pulled, I put an area called kind of the wall of fame, if you will, where I said, these are the agents in my organization that have over 1,000 inside their organization, right? And they're just incredible, incredible leaders. And those that have 100 to 500 and 500 to 1,000, though that is where I want to put my attention in helping them grow. Now you look at this again, you might be sitting here going, that's okay, that's great for you, Curtis, but I missed it. You didn't. That's what I was looking at, and I thought I missed it. You know, am I too late to EXP Realty? I believe we're going to 500,000 agents to maybe even a million. That's my belief. I don't believe that you're too late, but you still might be a little bit too early. That means about 910,000 agents need to join under somebody, so why not you? If you've been here for a couple years and you've been looking at this, you're like, yeah, but you know what, but I've been here for three years and I haven't done anything with it. Allow yourself the grace to start today, to start again, to be able to do that. And you guys have all seen this. Give a man a fish and feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. This is how that's finished. Teach a man to teach a man to fish and you feed generations. That's what we're doing. All right. Come on, now if you love EXP, stand up. Come on, stand up. If you love EXP, stand up. If you're ready to lead with us at EXP, stand up. And if you're ready to build your legacy at EXP, stand up. Now, how do, what do we do now? You start now. You start where you are. You start with fear. Start with pain. Start with doubt. Start with hand shaking. Would start with voice trembling, but just start. I'm Curtis Johnson. I love you guys, and I love EXP. Woo! Woo! Curtis Johnson, everybody! Woo!